Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's been a morning, but we're here. We are live for our Saturday live. I'm getting back into them. Uh, today, we're finishing off the chair that we started last week uh, with some blending with Purico Chalk Finish. And today, we're going to be applying a transfer. And then I'm going to talk about sealing it as well. I don't have time to seal it live today, but I will seal it at some point this week. I'll film it so that you guys can see what I, how, how I seal a chair. Um, but yeah, welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Elise. I'm the owner and the artist behind the Peter Brush & Co. Uh, we are located at 37 High Street, Eagle Hawk in Bendigo, Victoria. And we ship Australia wide. And in fact, we ship worldwide as well. So, um, website everything's in the description and all over our page but if you ever have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out um, i'm always happy to help so we are going to jump straight back straight in um it's been a very chaotic morning so i don't i'm running a little bit behind than normal so we're applying a transfer to the chair so this is where the chair is at and then we'll talk about the transfers. So last week we used Purico Chalk Finish and let me grab a jar so you can see what I'm talking about. We used Harbour, which is this beautiful deep blue. This is Harbour in Chalk Finish. So this is a chalk paint. And then we used uh, Surf in this really pale blue. So I ended up only using the two colors on the chair. Sometimes I come in with a white as well, but this was just blending so nicely, I decided not to. So we've got the harbour, pretty much all of the base is harbour. We do have a little bit of surf on the base as well. Oops, there we go. It's a little bit of surf. I've also dry brushed a little bit of the surf over the harbour and then dry brushed a little bit of the harbour over the surf just to give it a little bit of contrast to highlight these details on the spindles as well but really slow graduation up into the surf, which I love. So it's um, all done. I did do a time lapse um, doing the second layer of the blending and I'm pretty certain that I shared it. Uh, you might have to go back a couple of videos, but in case I haven't, I will double check today, but I'll pop the link to that and to last week's live in the description for you so that you can catch up on what we did. So, um, it's ready to go. I've given it a very, very light sand with a thousand grit sandpaper between coats, just to knock back any brush strokes when you're blending and when you're using chalk finish. Um, brush strokes are very, very normal. I love them, I love the texture, but I did want it a little bit smoother. So I did give it a really light sand, gave it a quick wipe. Um, I did that last night, so I know that it's fully dry and we are ready to apply our transfers. So before you apply your transfers, you do need to make sure that your paint is 100% dry. Give it to overnight at least. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're not applying them to a wet paint or paint that could potentially still be wet underneath the uh, initial touch dry, just because you can then have issues with them adhering. So you always apply your transfers before you seal your piece. Um, you can use a top coat or a sealer, a water-based sealer, or you can use a wax to seal them. It's up to you. Just make sure that if you choose to use a wax, it is last. You never, ever, ever put wax on first. Um, wax always needs to be last. So. Um, your choice of sealers, pick your favourite. These can also be applied over Pure Eco Silk Finish, which is our all-in-one mineral paint. It's got the built-in top coat. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you then seal them, but if it's going to be a piece that's going to see some use, like a chair, I would 100% recommend sealing it. Um, again, you can use a wax. Uh, our liquid wax is perfect over the silk finish, or you use um, one of our sealers, which I will show you what they look like. This is our sealers, they're all water-based. They've got the red label. Um, they look white in the bottle, they go on clear. So, super, super easy. I've got a couple of transfers in stock. I was hoping my new stock would have arrived, but it hasn't. Um, it's been a long week with couriers. Uh, so, instead we're using what I've got, um, which is disappointing, because I know the one that I wanted to use and I don't have it, but that's okay. 
So the last chair that I did, I used this one, which is the Watercolor Lush. So we've got new designs of these coming in. Um, there's some that I just haven't previously stocked, and then there's some that I'm pretty sure are a new release as well. So we've got, there's five or six new designs. So these are the mini transfers. They come in three sheets, which I will show you in a minute, the designs on the back. So I stock these ones. I don't stock the big ones in the tubes. I only stock these ones. I love these ones because they're all individual elements that are fantastic for separating and putting out. They're really, really good value. They're like $26, $27. Fantastic value. Um, three little, three sheets. They're still like, they're the size of my, or almost the size of my arm. There's my arm. <laughs> they're the size of my arm. They're a really good size. You've got all the little elements, which I love. I'm, I'm, I really, I love birds and wildlife and fauna. Um, and I really, really like this one. And I'm actually thinking I want to use that one now that I'm looking at it more closely. So I've got the blues. I don't want to do something like the pinks on it. It's not going to work for me. But um, I want it to stand out still. So I don't just want to do all blue on blue. So, and then we've got this one. So that one is Garden Marvels. So this one's really popular. I'm surprised I've got three in stock actually. And this one's Rare Birds. And I really love this one as well. But now I'm looking, oh, I don't know. I was like 100% set on the birds. But now I'm thinking I want the garden instead. Oh. See, my decision's on the go. This is under construction. I got this one. Um, on the request of my son and at some stage I will put it on something for him. I haven't used it yet, but it's got like, it's got a fire truck, it's got diggers, it's got the danger sign, it's got this one, the caution tape. It's really cool and I think it'd be really fun for kids as well. So at some point he will get this in his bedroom somewhere, but maybe on his bed, oh no, he's scratched up his bedroom door, <laughs> he's quite rough. Um, he will get that at some point. I'm not gonna put construction trucks on this very pretty chair. Um, I, think, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work, but I'm going to use it at some point, I promise. Okay, so I think we'll go, hmm, I really like this one just here. Don't mind my finger, I cut it on a, um, I cut it on the scissors last night opening stock. Oh, I'm in the wars, I am absolutely in the wars. But I also really like these two designs just here, this one and this one. What do we think? Any, those of you watching, which one should I pick? I think I'm gonna go to the birds. The birds? Birds, yeah, birds. I think the birds. All right, birds it is. I'm gonna stick with my original plan. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier. So, let's have a look at these. So, it's three sheets. They are printed onto, they're printed in color onto the, onto a um, plastic sheet. And then, there's like a white backing sheet which you peel off. So these are the three designs. So I'll show you these up close. So this is the first page. So they're really, really well detailed. And this is why I like these mini ones because that's two separate designs that you can very easily use together or you can use them separately. So that's sick. That's the second sheet. I love that it's got the separate butterfly too. I think I might use a couple of those butterflies up on the top of the chair. And then these ones, I love the tails on these birds. Oops, where are we? There we go. So really beautifully detailed, very vintage looking these ones. So all you need is a pair of scissors. You wanna keep the, so it's got the front sheet, which has got the ink on it. And then it's got the back, the backing sheet, okay? You do not want to take that backing sheet off until you are ready to use it. Um, you don't want to get dust, etc., on the ink. The back of the ink is sticky and that's what sticks to your piece. So you want to keep the backing sheet on until you're ready. So all you need to do is take a pair of scissors and I think I'm going to do that one. Or do I do that one? That one feels like it's a bit... 
It doesn't feel like. I think I think I'm gonna use this one. Hang on, let me turn the chair so I can turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Be helpful, wouldn't it? All right, so I'm thinking this one here sits quite nicely at the bottom of the chair and I can drape it over just a little bit. Whereas I think this one, the tail, I love the tail on this one and I feel like it's gonna get a bit lost if I drape it over beside the chair. So I'm thinking this one. And I don't, I, I never like putting these things in the center. Although that one's quite, oh, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that one actually. I like how that curves up the side of the chair. Forget that one, I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> so, um, it's just gonna curve up nicely. So this one is all one connected design and it comes through with this twig. I'm just gonna cut the twig just there and you just sort of carefully cut around the bed. You don't have to cut really close or anything like that. And I'm just going to cut across the bottom there. Just like that. So you can see where I've cut the, oh, I can't line them up again. There you go. All right, so just cut the twig there. And I'm just gonna cut this butterfly off because I don't think I want it just there. I can always put it back if I do, but most of the time I don't. Make sure you keep your, um, the little clear baggie that it goes into. Um, and I often cut the top, this top piece off as well and pop it in the bag so I know what the design is. But keep that bag for all your little leftovers as well because it keeps them all nicely together. So I'm just going to cut this. You don't have to, but I'm just going to cut this a little bit more so you can sort of see what I'm thinking here. I like how this sort of wraps up the side of the chair a little bit. There we go. See how that just sort of, it goes with that curve of the chair and I can sort of taper that branch off. What do we think? I like that. And I don't mind if the, if the flowers sort of droop over the edge a little bit, but I do more want them on the seat. I want a little bit over the edge just for that continuation, but I think we're gonna do something like that. Okay, so I don't think these used to come with one in that one? Yes, there is, okay. Mine, for some reason, doesn't have its little sticking scooter there. No, I've got two, oh, hang on, unless it is enough, and I just didn't notice. Oh, yes, it is, hang on, it is, hang on. There we go, right. Little popsicle stick, it's all you need. You can use like a credit card or something as well to rub it, but just have that on hand. So all you do, peel the backing off, just like that. Just go slow, make sure it hasn't stuck to the backing. Um, I've never had that happen, but I know that it sometimes can, but I've never had a problem with it. So you just don't want to touch the ink, okay? Because that's sticky and it will come off onto your finger. So very carefully sort of just, you don't have to be super careful, but you obviously don't want it to stick in the wrong spot either. So just sort of hold it taut and get it just where you want it. I want that branch right at the edge of the seat and like that. So once you've got it in place, once it's in place, you can't then just lift it up. Okay, it's got to stay where it is. So just sort of rub it out with your fingers a little bit and get that down. And then you take your little paddle pop stick and you're just going to very gently rub over that surface, okay? This is a really, really easy way to add a lot of detail quickly. Um, and because you can cut them all out and move them around, they're a really simple option. If you're not artistically talented and able to draw things, because I absolutely can't, um, this is a really, really good option. So, and you can apply them to anything. Um, I've seen people apply them to their like KitchenAid mixes, um, to books, to decor, to furniture like I'm doing. You can put them on literally everything. And I'm gonna come up with, I have had a few requests for workshops with them. So I'm gonna come up with a specialty finishes workshop 
I think, with these. And then we might even do a couple of um, like little make and take activities as well, little shorter activities, like hour long, nice and simple, but enough that you can get a feel for the products as well. All right. So once that's on there, you're very carefully going to lift the edge. Now, if you're, I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can see that. If I keep peeling that, right, it's going to go the wrong way and not stick. So some of that hasn't stuck. So you're just gonna keep rubbing. It. And you do wanna use a little bit of pressure, okay? But you just wanna make sure that it's stuck. Don't just keep peeling it and then don't just like rip it off like a band-aid because that's when you're gonna have a disaster on your hands, okay? So you just wanna go slowly and just keep rubbing all over. This takes longer than the application, I think, sometimes. Just making sure it's all stuck down. You're just gonna have one edge that hasn't quite stuck and then you can have problems. Let me know if you've got any questions. I can see comments today. So you just keep peeling it. I actually don't like using the pedal pop sticks. I should have grabbed a card, but just because I find it's quite hard on my hands. I think the big transfers, the big ones in the tubes, I don't stop them. I can get them, but I don't stop them. Um, I think they still come with like a bigger um, scraper, but you can use whatever you want as well. It just needs to be flat and not like sharp. You don't want to be digging into it because then you're going to damage your transfer. Let's go from that top edge as well. There we go, just go slow. And I like to rub back over it a few times as well, just to make sure it's 100% all stuck down. Just like that, done. So really, really, really easy. Let me bring you in there so you can see a bit better. There you go. So super simple. Now, if you, I will have to take the camera off. I apologize, I'm gonna try not to turn off the phone as well. There we go. Okay, hang on, let me, let me switch. There you go, Ooh, there you go. So there's our design, beautiful. So what you can do, I'm not sure how well the camera's showing it. Can you see this very, very faint little shadow line along there? It's, it's really, really small. You can see it, I can see it. Um, I don't know how well the camera can see it. What you can do is you can come in with some really fine sandpaper and just give it a gentle buff and that can knock that back. You can heavily distress these as well if you want to. But I love all the detail in it. And I think it sits on the chair quite well. It looks really beautiful against that blue. So once you've done that, let me pop you back up here into the doodad what do you call it um thing i still don't know what it's called <laughs> oh nearly lost you oops there we go okay so once you've got it on there i like to just bring my sheet back in and just gently rub i never rub straight on the design unless you're really wanting to, to distress it but i'm just coming back in giving it a gentle rub making sure all my edges are pushed down 100%. Sometimes it can come away, like your sheet can come away, but sometimes the edges aren't like 100%. So you just wanna make sure that it is as well stuck down as possible. Beautiful. And if you have a feel over it, you can normally feel them as well. So, looking beautiful so far. Shall we do another one? So that's that one. Let's move that out of the road. And that out of my road. So we've still got the other one. I don't think I really want to put another bird onto it, but I'm liking the butterflies. So there's that one and there's two there. 
I think all the other birds are a bit big. Maybe I will cut him. No, they're the wrong kind of bird. Yeah, these are all, oh, hang on, you can't see what I'm doing. Where are we? These are all just way too big for the top. And I don't want to put another one on the chair. I want to keep it quite simple. And I don't want to pull away from what I've got there either. No, I don't want any of those. I think we'll just do the butterflies. I'm liking the idea of the butterflies. I don't think I want to pull anything from this other design. They don't match. No, I don't. Okay. Let's just do the three butterflies, I think, across. We'll do it up here in the top corner. So let me pick that up. So again, I'm just gonna cut them out. So just like that. I'm gonna cut them in half as well. Hmm. No, I don't want to lose the tail because it's such a big part of the bird. I just feel like I'd be taking away from the bird too much. So I'm just going to do a couple of these little butterflies and I think the contrast on the light blue is quite pretty. So we might just do a couple. And we've got this spotty one as well, which I really, really love. I think we'll just do a couple up here. So I'm just going to peel the backing off again. Where's my little sticky gone? There. Okay, are you in position? You are. I'm sorry about the light in the background. This is the window. I'm just gonna pop you up there. And it will just stay in place as well. So you can get them all positioned if you like. So we might just get that one done and on. I did think about some stenciling for this chair, but None of the stencils sort of go with what, what I want to do. So we're going to start with this and we'll see how we go. I might yet do stencils, but I don't think so. I do want to keep it quite simple because the blending's quite a lot of detail in itself. Beautiful. How cute is that? All right, we might just do this little one, I think. The um, yellows and the browns and this are going to pull up from the bird and it's just going to pull that colour up as well. I think we're going to go about there. So again, just rub it nice and firmly. So I've still got one of this one in stock this transfer in stock this is called rare birds the other one that i was contemplating is garden marvels and they're all on my website you'll find them underneath the redesign with primer transfers tab and i have got more designs arriving this week which when they do i will go live and i'll show you them uh, because there's a few new ones there that we haven't had before number two now i've got this one more little one hmm I don't think I want to pop it down there with the, where are we? I don't think I want to pot it, put it there. I feel like it's going to, hmm. Maybe I will just pop it up the top as well. I might just put it up the top here. So we've got it on that side. We might just pop one over here. I don't think I want to go all the way over. I think I'll go like over here somewhere. What do we think? Yes, no, any ideas? Somebody help me. <laughs> Or we could pop it down here on the... Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. My husband stole on my table that I normally use, so this isn't working for me today. <laughs> what do we think down there? I kind of like that. It curves around the arm, the backing piece. I wish I had a few more butterflies, actually, because I think they're quite pretty. I think we might pop it down here, because this side's quite heavy, because we've got that big one, so... Or I can pop it on the back as well. No, I don't want it on the back. That's easy. <laughs> I think we're going to pop it here. This one? Yeah, this one. Thank you, Rhonda. I needed that assistance. I think we're going to pop you right there. Right, you're there now. I can't change my mind, can I? So again, just give it a gentle rub. Really, really lightly. 
So I'm going to seal this with Purico's. Um, I'm going to use the matte sealer. I like the matteness. Um, I like how flat it looks. I don't really want to add any shine. I might even um, distress this chair a little bit actually. Um, but I'm just going to use Purico matte sealer. I will do a video when I do it. It probably won't be live because it'll be during open hours when the shop's open, but I will do it at some point this week. That is super cute. Okay. So Purico matte seal is what I'm using. I'll show you the jar. This is what I'll be using to seal it all over. And I'll be using a green applicator sponge. These are brilliant for sealing chairs. Absolutely fantastic, super easy. Um, and two coats all over and I'm done. So this chair's like 95% done. I've just got to seal it. Uh, the transfers are gorgeous. I think I might distress it just a little bit, but I'm not going to make that decision today because I'm not thinking as clearly as what I should be. So all done, super beautiful, super easy. The transfers are so easy. If you haven't tried them, I do really recommend that you do. Um, give them a go. They are fantastic on the sides of drawers when you pull them out. Just that little little touch of uh, colour and detail. Um, and inside drawers as well. I've done them inside drawers a couple of times. Um, or yeah, just all over your piece, wherever. You can use them on your decor, decor, your furniture. You can put them on your walls, your kitchen cupboards I've seen. You can put them on just about anything. Um, they stick to everything you can pop them onto glass and onto mirrors as well so you've got lots and lots and lots of options they're very easy to use as you saw and i've still got so i've used like uh half a sheet so i've still got two full sheets left so that's like another four items just about depends how i use them and then i've still got that one as well so i've still got five separate designs left that i can use on another piece um, and that's why I love these mini ones because they're all individual elements that work by themselves or as you saw with the butterflies work together with the other pieces so the one that I've used today is called rare birds and I think that's it for me today I'm open 10 to 1 for all of my gorgeous locals um, Purico stock arrived yesterday so anybody who's waiting for pretty much anything it's all ready to go. I have more stock arriving. I think it's going to be here Tuesday next week, I'm hoping. Um, th there's a couple of you that I know are waiting for other items, so that will be here next week. Um, I'm always here. Send me a message. Give me a phone call. Send me an email. If you ever have any questions, you need help at all, please do not hesitate. I'm always happy to help. Um, I know my products pretty much inside and out. Um, and I've got extensive experience with all of them. So I'm always happy to help. Um, but that's it. Have a absolute wonderful Saturday. It's really beautiful weather here today. I hope all of you that are up in New South Wales and Queensland are safe and well. I hope all your families are safe and well as well. And, um, yeah, that's it from me. Enjoy your Saturday guys. Thank you so much for watching.